Oh, 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 that was ripping. Look at this thing. Oh, baby. Fishing Freaks, welcome back to the channel. I've got something special for you today. The biggest meat haul catch and cook I have ever done. And I want to say thanks to all you that commented on the New Zealand series, left that good positive feedback. Man, I worked hard on that. And man, it was a outdoor challenge. And I just, I had a great time putting it together. So thank you for your feedback. And today's video is sponsored by the Food Saver Game Saver. I can't pick a better sponsor for today's video. Uh, it's literally something I use all the time to keep my meat fresh, keep those golden crispies extra crispy when it's time to break them out of the freezer. And they have a sale going on right now. I'll leave a link at the top of the description uh, for the month of June. Go on Amazon, boom, 17% off on this thing. If you're an outdoorsman, you need to get you one. Every few months, me and the Catchco team, we get together, we go out, we test products, we're working on new things, uh, and we just go out fishing sometimes and have a good dangle together. And this time, me and Matt went up there with a bunch of the crew from the Catchco team and Josh, who has his own boat and he has his own uh, guiding service that he does on the weekends and he's got like a big offshore boat and we're going to the Great Lakes to go after salmon. This is so crazy to me because you think about salmon, you think about the, the ocean, rivers, things like that, but no. We are going trolling out in the middle of the lake and there's these giant fish swimming around. It was just an awesome time. And we got a ton of meat. Check this out. We are going out in for some uh, Lake Michigan King Salmon this morning. Uh, there's been some schools of four-year-old King Salmon swimming around the shores of North Point Marina and uh, we're gonna go find them. About five miles offshore on the state line in Illinois and Wisconsin. We fish in between 80 and 120 feet of water using downriggers, Nipsey divers, and planer boards to get them. What's a Nipsey diver? I have no idea. We're about to find out though. We're here, boys! This would be fun to just stay up top. We're at 54 degree water temp, which is pretty good right now. 52 would be a little better, so. Keep trolling out deeper until we get to that water temp. Really hitting that flat band. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you gotta bite the head off, man. That's the rules. <laughs> well, that's perfect size for it. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah! Look at there. What was that depth on that? That was down 15 feet. 15 foot. He's a high rider. He's doing it on video. No, I did not catch it. You have to catch the fish to do it. That's the thing. I can't believe, Josh, you're not, you're not, you're standing for this, not biting the head off right now. After all that talk. Before 10 a.m. too. Oh, it's, it's like 5 a.m. I guess the tradition is you bite the head off for good luck. I'm gonna before 10 a.m. Is that another one? There's a lot of lines going off here. Another coho? Oh, we got a runner. Oh yeah, this is getting silly. What do we need to do? Yeah, how can we help? It's a king. Woo, it's a head biter. Get him, baby. You gotta get you one of these. I, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna walk. Oh, we got another one hooked up. That sucker's fighting pretty good, Matt. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to give up. We'll get your danglers tangled. There we go, oh yeah! Oh, he's on the ground. Body slam him in there. These things are fighting good. Nice, Matt! Woo! King salmon! That's a small one. That's a small one. Well, That's what he said. I don't consider that small. Dude, you got the king. You're the king of the boat now. You know, didn't bite his head off though. <laughs> you have not. I'm the you still have to do that. I've been up in the, in the crow's nest. It, it seems that, uh, the big, big barks, they're kind of deeper. What was that caught on, a whirly bird? That was on one of the little peanut flies. Peanut fly, I knew it. That's my next guess. What do we got? <laughs> we got a king! <laughs> I'm the king! <laughs> Look at this thing, oh baby! Oh yeah! Okay, drag set. Drag set, just reel on. This one was low, like how yeah. deep? How that deep was probably deep? down 60 feet. 60 feet, I knew those big boards were down there. 
All that work in the crow's nest. Yeah! Feel the thunder! First king ever. Got 51 feet out. <laughs> I might have to give this one a nice big lick in the face. I don't know if you can stiff them, they got some big teeth. I'm just handling him. Yeah, you're horsey. Walk backwards, not lift up, walk back. Oh yeah! Oh look at this guy! Oh big net. So big we need a bigger net. Look at it. I'm right behind you. Get that net out of my way. Here, walk back. I underjudged his size. Look at that big boy! Holy cow! <laughs> oh my gosh! That thing's huge! That thing's awesome! So how many sandwiches can we get out of that? <laughs> yes! You got another one. First king and another fish on! Yeah, it's right here. Wild. Pick it up, yeah. pick that rod up. Fish on! How do you hold these suckers? Right. Oh. Oh. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Watch and his teeth though, don't go too deep. Right that gill slot, slimy. First king salmon right there. Nice fish, put up a great fight. <laughs> That's still quite a sweet bass. <laughs> That's a little too big. That's a little too big. King on! King on, baby! Oh, we got a big one? That's a big one. <laughs> Another king here. Josh is telling me we just gotta take it easy with this guy. Let him run when he wants to run. This drag is really loose. I'm not used to this. I have like six videos. It's probably a good thing. You gotta keep it loose for a bit. Oh, oh, he just got Oh, no! Oh. No, he did! He's running. Don't tell me that thing got off. That was huge. Did he get keep off? Keep around, keep around, keep around. No! God, dude, that was way bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, that was a nice one. <sighs> that was Seriously, that was like 20 pounds. We'll get another one. Dang, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, actually looks like your tank was up in another line. Man. Hooked up. Can we get a yee? I think it's a, I think it's a, I think it's a Laker. No way. Oh, yeah. Is it Dragon? He's not, he's not like digging like that, that king. It's I not have. running like a king? No. It's a Laker. Maybe you haven't woken up yet. He's a oh, lazy. he's a lazy. He's a Laker. Lazy Laker. A lazy Laker. Look at him. He's just spinning. Oh, yeah. It's a grease ball. Oh, so what's the story on these lake trout? They're just lazy. They sit down on the bottom and uh, wait for something to go by their face and they nab it. So they're basically catfish. Yeah. Wow, those yeah, are big. Want I want to get him jumping. Oh, come on, man. Get up there, get them jump. The same line though, it's tangled in itself somehow. This is gonna be a fun This one. requires patience. Let me hand this guy. Only handle him. I'm so soft. This might be the old kinger. The old kinger dinger? That's a steely. That's oh, a big steely. Wow! Woo! Wow. Mmm. Taste of cakes. Get him. 400 feet out. It's a way to real efficient, huh? It was. Uh, 200 yards of braid, then 200 feet of copper, then 30 yards of lead, and then 15 yards of fluorocarbon. That is silly. Nice one. We got on. Oh, we got a big Laker, baby. I've never caught one of these. I've never caught anything that's coming in the boat today. So. Is this your personal best coming in? This is PB. Yeah. And we got a flare title coming at you right now. It feels really heavy. It feels like a, a big catfish. There's no head shakes. It kind of feels like sludge. It was 140 feet down okay. on the bottom. 140 feet down. That's officially the deepest freshwater fish yeah. I've ever caught. Okay. Purple flop. Uh, how many rods do we have out? About 17, I think, right now. Seven, 17. 
Come on, Lakey. Look at this form. Nice and easy. Okay, I'm gonna walk it back. First lake drop ever. Dang, they must be eating a lot to that fat though. Drop a bead. This is a this is a key thing you gotta do here on the Bama Breeze. Come over here to this bead, bead stack. Drop Boing. a bead. Boom! We'll be, we'll be back in the dock. You gotta get her. Look at that. No. Yeezys. Yeezys on the salmon boat. Like put her on the leg. Oh, this is way need like a... Uh, this uh, is the way to do it, boys. You need to be strapped in. <laughs> strap it in. Strap, strap it in with a belt. Probably a coho. It's either a coho or a small lake trout. And it's a foul hook lake trout. Oh! Booger! He's foul hook. He's hooked in the back. That's why he's running. How'd he get... How'd he do that? Whoa! Oh! Oh, man! Oh. Well, that's Woo. a good thing. That's a good effort. Good effort, bro. <laughs> Sandwich time! I think we got a coho. Oh, yeah. Nice. No, no lake trout. <laughs> yes! Another laker. I want to put that in my salad, maybe. Smoke it for a week or two. Put some black peppercorns on it. A little bit of hot sauce. Apparently, they don't taste good. Okay. I'm hoping this isn't another lake trout. But it might be a king. It's coming up, so I think it is going to be a king. I could be completely wrong though. I think it's a lake trout now. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lake trout. The old sludge wagon. <laughs> Trying to dangle it off. Oh, that's, a, that's the biggest one, really. No, that's not even close to like one. No? We are in a lull right now. We need something to pick us up. So uh, Dylan is, is gonna, he's the first mate on this on this ship, on the Bama Breeze. He's gonna do a little something to, uh, to help us out. It's tradition. Let's do a lot. What do you call this technique? A little rinse off. All right. Let's, uh, let's get you in the light, because I want to make sure we know how to do this for future endeavors what in the, what what in the no what the <laughs> there was a technique there you see that twist that's not the first time he's done that what just happened all right we'll catch some fish now <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh bigger coho though what i don't know god what a savage Anything to catch fish. Oh, anything to catch fish. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> little chaser? <laughs> no chaser. Wow. <laughs> Look at how wide it is on his back. Dude. This is a <laughs> Goliath <laughs> lake trout. <laughs> I don't know how big these things get. This is huge. Like the, the belly, I can see it from 100 yards out there. <laughs> That's yeah. a hammer. Dude, Look at that hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's massive. Dude. <laughs> uh, uh, look how fat that is. Goodness. Show the belly a bit. I mean, it's just like a bowling ball in there. That's just Bertha. That is Bertha. Thing. That thing is cold. 160 feet of water. That's the biggest yeah, fish see. I've caught all year. That's not That's fishing. Fish. Wow. <laughs> That's a hammer. Oh, it did. <laughs> There's a lot of splash. No, it's a lake trout. Oh, yeah. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, man. Oh, that, here we go. Double. That's a king. No, lake trout. Anybody want to reel this guy in, Drew? Oh. I know Matt was jealous seeing my stance. I'll come take him. There you go, Drew. There we go. Drew to the rescue. Drew. That might be the biggest one yet, actually. We're catching sea monsters. That has to be. Oh my gosh. It one didn't have the uh, bowling ball in its belly that yours did. That's this. Drop a beat. Something yeah, I still still like on. Beautiful fish. We'll call there's that no the, more, uh, There's no more room in the pool. 
I think we're good. I think we got enough meat here. I think we're good. <laughs> Never seen a cooler that full. Last fish? This is the last fish. I mean, I don't think we need any more. <laughs> but we're getting this one, the coho. The great sandwich maker. <laughs> it's, a, nice little coho. it's a nice little coho. A little 12 incher, just to end the day here. First day ever out tr trolling fresh water. Filled an entire igloo. 140 <laughs> quart. Come on, yeah! That one will fit. Perfect eight Perfect inch one to fit. Couldn't ask for a better fish. That was not as aggressive on the flop as, as the other ones, but had a lot of fight, a lot of heart. Hell of a day. Last bead on board the Bama Breeze. Down. Hey! What are you doing out here? <laughs> Check it out. That's a wrap, folks. Through the awesomeness of airline travel, we have made it back here to the treehouse. And y'all know I have got more salmon than I know what to do with. I have a ton of salmon. Here's a king salmon slab right here, gigantor. So we had the fried salmon, and we had the, we had the coho, we had the steelhead, uh, we had the king salmon, a little bit of it fried up. Honestly, I don't know. I don't either. That place didn't do a great job. I think I could have fried it better myself. Golden crispy experience right here. But I think that grilling salmon is just a much better thing to do. And I have even some of those uh, lake trout, which I've heard aren't that great, but we're gonna give it a whirl anyway. I can't eat all this in one setting, so what we're going to do is we're gonna put it in the vacuum sealer. Since this video is sponsored by uh, Game Saber, I'm gonna show you guys how I use the Game Saber. I use this thing all the time. Honey, you wanna see what a king salmon looks like? Sure. Are you gonna be like the guy at the grocery store when I ask him like This hey, is it. I'm your fish man right now, honey. All right. Yeah. Like, can Come I have on. a pound of that king salmon? Exactly. Inside? First thing you gotta do, put your food saver game bag in uh, in the unit here and you close it, switch to operate, and then you just wanna seal. What that does is just does a like a heat uh, heat shrink right there. That's what seals one side. Wabam! I cut that one. That's the longest one I've ever cut because this is a huge piece. Make sure you totally put the end in there where you have enough room. You want to leave like a few inches, like probably three or four inches. Close that, switch it to operate, and then back and seal. It's just going to suck all the air right out and seal it at the same time. seconds. Turns off. Open her up. That is ready for the freezer. This one does 40 consecutive sealings without overheating. So that's more than I can handle on today and that's a ton of meat. Listen. Another one ready for the freezer. If y'all want to pick one of these up, this is the one I use, the Food Saver Outdoorsman. 17% off right now on Amazon. Visit the link down below, it'll take you right to it, and you can save that extra money for this month of June. Alrighty, y'all, all this meat now is going to go to the deep freezer, and we're gonna keep a couple out to just cook here, but this is the biggest meat haul I have ever experienced. As you guys can see, that is a ridiculous amount of fish. OSG's already got it out. She's gonna be cooking up for supper tonight. Salmon is her favorite. And thanks to Game Saver, we're gonna be enjoying this for many months to come. So, I wanna say thanks again for Game Saver for sponsoring today's video. And I have more outdoor greatness to attend to now. Thank you guys for tuning in today. One more special announcement though. If you guys are looking for a special shout out from me or a uh, birthday request or a uh, engagement request or some dangle tips, I'm on a new app, it's called Cameo. I'll leave a link down below for it as well. It's a paid for service, shout out service. Uh, I get thousands of messages. So I'm um, gonna be funneling that to this app. And you guys can hit me up there for, you know, anything you want. High fives, fist bumps, uh, dangle tips. Alrighty, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next day.